Hey guys, Gary here aka Gassy Products. Uh, so today we're just going to take a look at the bottom bracket. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it with an angle grinder. I know, go figure, an angle grinder. We're going to cut it open and get a cross-sectional view, give you guys a better understanding as to uh, what's involved in the construction, the components, how it all works together. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look and see what kind of setup we're dealing with here. So I have the uh, bottom bracket itself in the vise, like so. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a straight line from here right the way across and that will give us our split. We might have to do both sides but we shall uh, see what happens and we'll give it a go. So spare me there guys. Put the camera down over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so safety first, and all that jazz. We've got our ear defenders, and we also have some earplugs also as well. So we'll just get those going now in one sec. Okay, so ear defenders. Earplugs. There was a contest for making the most noise. Um, I, I think I'll be up there with the best. Okay, so gloves. Okay, one glove on. Now we need our hand grinder. So yeah, very noisy. So look, we're gonna cut our line from here to here. Uh, we might need to do two passes, one on this side and then one on the opposite side. So just bear with me guys, we can cut it open and see what happens. Oh, and the smoke alarm is going off. <laughs> Pardon me one sec, guys. We'll just open up the door for a bit of ventilation. Okay, so let's have a look and see what did we manage to do. Bearing in mind this is, this is going to be hot. So I might put some water over this or maybe some WD or something. WD is actually it's gonna cause a lot of smoke. So I will just get a little bit of water. Look at the 
water to the rescue. Okay, sparing in mind that this is going to be hot, I will get a clamp of some sort. Here we go, voice grips. Voice grips. And we just put it, dunk it into the water, let it cool down. So we may need to cut the other side, as I said before, just to see uh, if it comes apart easily. Let's take a look and see. Okay. There we go. So we have our cut in the middle. So what we might do is see, can we open this up? Actually. I have a funny feeling. Yeah, we will have to cut the other side. Because it's probably about f maybe five, six mil thick in the, in the steel itself. So for me to try and bend this back, take a bit of effort and it wouldn't look as clean from a cross sectional point of view looking at it. So I will cut another line on this side and uh, we get a look and see what's happening, guys. So just bear with me again. There'll be more sparks flying and all that jazz. So yeah, bear with me one sec. Okay, so hair protection again. Where's my uh, bugs? There's one and two, and my glasses back on again. Okay, so that seems to have done the trick. See some of the ball bearings trying to escape there. Vice grips. Just open the vice. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to let this cool down because I'd say it's quite warm now. There's the bearings. came out and I see the seals on the other side so on the uh, shaft itself. Okay so just gonna get all the bits parts together here. Just move this out of the way.
trying to clean up the mess that is. Okay guys, so um, it's just coming apart there, so what I'll do is I'll just clean this up, the uh, shell itself, and the actual uh, shaft, etc. Clean things up and try and put it back together again, and see if you get an idea as to um, what way she goes together. So there's ball bearings everywhere. Okay, so let's get the ball bearings. Probably about maybe three mil or so. All bearings. Clean them up in that. There's our nylon, nylon, Jeez, that's a good one. Our nylon uh, ball bearing holder receiver. For one of the sides of the uh, the axle itself for the shaft. And then there. Our two seals. And that's just the other side of the. Bottom bracket itself goes into the, the I think it's the right hand side, the left hand side of the frame. Okay. There's our uh, seal and ball bearing container. There's another ball bearing on for a hop. Let's try that in there, get that nice and clean. Get that rubber seal off on this side, it's a little bit stiff. Oh, she's moving now a little bit, I think. Actually, there's probably no harm leaving that on because I'll have to put it back together again. Okay, so let's clean up this mess. This stuff is just uh, chain cleaner. I could use some other kind of degreaser or something. Do the same job. A lot of grease there. Let's take all that out. So I'll do is I'll uh, put this together and show you guys what that looks like after it's been cleaned up. Are we there one second guys? Okay guys, so we have everything cleaned up and taken apart and we can see the construction itself of the bottom bracket. In two halves, the outer shell of the um, bottom bracket itself. You can clearly see the splined inner section here of the case, which would take a bottom bracket tool, spline tool like so. Slots right in and rotates to loosen with the uh, thread. So we take a closer look at the uh, construction itself. We can see that we have a second. Okay, so we can see that we have our ball bearings in the nylon race or receiver, the inner seal, and the outer seal um will be the same thing on this side ball bearings in the inner race your seals and your end cap on the opposite side so that's how simple it is guys um literally a few ball bearings some grease in a nylon receiver and sits within the housing itself. You can see the grooves here. So that silver lining on the inside is where the ball bearings themselves will basically run on the inside. Um, there is a little bit of wear and tear. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Let's see. 
focus in. Okay, so there's a little bit of wear and tear there, and that would affect how the ball bearings uh, feel. When we're checking for wear and tear on a ball bracket, we feel a little bit of kind of resistance, a grainy resistance, and that right there. Let's see if I can get it this way. The graininess and the the track where the ball bearings run will cause that. We can see our seals have a line here to receive the inner seal. So it sits on and clicks right in there. And that's its position to stop any door to ingress from getting into the bearings. It's a very simple construction. Looks like it's probably about three, maybe four mil at the most in thickness, really mild steel. And every line that's there has a purpose or job. The shaft itself in construction, sometimes these are balanced. You might see a little kind of a piece of remove from the inner part to balance it. Um, you can see these are here to receive the ball bearings, that little uh, brace on the shaft. And that will also affect balance. So. When it's been made or machined, the, the guys, the engineers would have factored this in. So, there you go guys. Um, not something you see every day, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the spark show from Younger Grinder. And, um, yeah, as always guys, uh, here on Gas D Projects, um, we do many different types of projects. So, always stay tuned and keep your eye out for new videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned and take her handy.